Downtown neighbors working together to create their own patrols in the wake of a weekend stabbing attack targeting three women. Yeah, a homeless man has been arrested. Now residents are saying that the violence that has gone on here is actually a big wake up call. CBS 11's Robbie Owens live in the 1600 block of Maine with the story. Robbie? Well, Gilma and Doug, we've seen a lot of really great improvements in downtown Dallas in recent years. Parking lots turned into parks. But the homeless issue, well, it's become more stubborn. And some tell us that drug use among the homeless is to blame for this weekend's violence. He stuck his foot by the door, stopped me from pushing the door shut. Good neighbors are found in all communities. He starts screaming about a cell phone and then he's punched the woman right in the face. So when Michael Osmond saw a homeless man attack three women on Main Street Sunday afternoon, he hurried them into his apartment building. The girls tried to get in the elevator, but it's an old building and the door shut really slow. And that's when he got in the elevator and that's when he brought the knife out. The women were not seriously injured, but other downtown dwellers have been shaken. So now to hear that this happened a block from where I live and then they came in my building, uh, I I'm a wreck. He's obviously, this dude was on K2. He was on drugs of some sort because he was super strong, really aggressive, and uh, screaming at the top of his lungs. Derek Stapleton is president of the Downtown Dallas Neighborhood Association. We see more and more mentally ill on the streets. And again, while the majority of those people are harmless, you just never know what you're going to encounter. And this shows that it is a 24-7 problem. It's not isolated to streets near homeless shelters. A safety patrol ends at a certain time every night. Um, we're offering walks home from bars, restaurants, businesses after hours so that nobody feels the need to walk by themselves. Um, There's safety in numbers. Right now, Stapleton is recruiting volunteers from the neighborhood to help staff those volunteer patrols. He's also talking about organizing some self-defense classes. Live in downtown Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.